Okay, welcome back to lecture um, 11.2, where we're going to talk about the internal energy of, of Van der Waals. Gas. Okay. So last time we derived, uh, well, we, we kind of approximated our equation of state for an ideal gas, for a Van der Waals gas. We said that it was P um, plus A over V squared times V minus B equals R T. So this is our equivalent of PV equals NRT, or PV equals RT, for now two scales, right? A repulsive hard, hard sphere and an attractive uh, intermolecular force uh, uh, term. Okay, so that's our equation of state. But we also know we need to know the internal energy to do our calculations with these things. We often need both of them, right? We need both our equation of state and our internal energy. So what was our internal energy for an ideal gas? Hopefully you remember that for an ideal gas it was U equals CVT. And so I'm writing the per mole version. And so this is for an ideal. Let's just call it the ideal gas. For a hard sphere gas, what was it? Well, we said that the this just changed the volume that was accessible. It didn't change anything about the, the forces, right? So it didn't change anything about the kinetic energy, so it didn't change anything about the internal energy. But for a Van der Waals gas, I don't like that G, let's just call it Van der Waals gas, we now do have these inter, uh, atomic or intermolecular forces which are, which are changing the pressure, changing the forces, and hence they are changing the kinetic energy of the molecules. So, right, we, we, calculated the we looked at it in terms of a momentum change last time, right? So if it's changing this, it must change the internal energy. And we can imagine just looking through dimensional analysis at what this should be, it's going to have to be A over V. Okay, let's check our units that, right? So let's check our units. We said A had pascals per meter to the 6 mole squared. Right? So we need to have... Um, so we're going to actually, A over V is going to have units of, so the units of A or this, the units of A over V are going to be pascals meter cubed per mole. So remember a pascal was a newton per meter squared. So a Newton, so A over V has units Newton per meter squared times meter cubed per mole, which is Newton times meter per mole. And you can see that Newton meter is a Newton times a, a force times a distance, right? That was a joule. So dimensional analysis 
this makes sense, right? It must be A over B. All right. So now let's do this an example where we will find out something new. Okay. Let's look at the Van der Waals gas undergoing free expansion. Okay, so let's set up the free expansion problem and we'll we'll uh, we'll talk about it. This free expansion problem usually causes consternation with students. And so I suspect we will need to talk about it in class some more. Okay? So feel free to bring up questions. So what I'm constructing is a scenario where I have a box and inside the box I'm going to have a partition or let's say a membrane. Okay? Let's say it's as simple as a, you know, a soap film sitting there or a, a balloon. Okay? This could be a balloon inside a vacuum chamber. You know, anyway, there are lots of a so here's a, a partition, a membrane, and in here I'm going to put gas. And over here, I'm going to put no gas. Let's call that vacuum. How do I spell vacuum? Two C's and one U, I believe. Vacuum. Could be wrong. Might be one C and two U's. All right, now, key feature is these are adiabatic walls. And now let's ask first what happens for an ideal gas. What happens for an ideal gas? Well, let's imagine our entire system is this box, okay? So the entire system, system is inside box with adiabatic walls. All right. Well, we are talking about the internal energy. It's often a first good guess to look at what the first law tells you. du is dq plus dw. Okay, if I have my box like this, well, then I know that no heat came in, right, because I had adiabatic walls. But also, if I look at this box, nothing happened to the system, and so the work was zero, and so du was zero, And if du was zero, that meant little u was a constant, or u1 equals u2, right? So, or let's call it u initial equals u final, which meant that cv t initial equals cv t final. Okay, so this says that for an ideal gas, this is an isothermal process. So in, in Finn, this is described in, in section 2.6. <clears throat> 
And the, and the inclination to is, and the, and the sticking point here, is often people want to think of this gas as expanding, right? And so it's changing its volume. But one reason why you can see that that doesn't count here, right, is because this gas is actually pushing on nothing. If a gas pushes on nothing, it can't be doing any work. Okay. Now the key feature in thinking about that is, you know, you still want to say, oh, but it's got a PDV, an integral of PDV. Well, you can't use the integral of PDV unless it's a reversible process. And this free expansion is irreversible. Right? How do I jam that back? I can't put this membrane back and suddenly have my gas there again. Right? So a free expansion a truly free expansion is irreversible. So cannot define dW as minus p dV, right? So this is not okay. Okay, but we said we were going to do this case for a van der Waals gas, where our van der Waals gas now has a different energy, okay? So let's just Check for a van der Waals gas. Let's give ourselves a little bit more space. For the van der Waals gas. Now, again, same scenario. We still have the Q is zero. And dW was equal to zero, so dU was equal to zero, so that U was equal to a constant. But now U is CVT minus A over V, right? I decreased that in, so my, these attractive interactions decrease the forces, decrease the kinetic energy, so it decreased the internal energy. So I have UI equals UF. I have CVTI minus A over VI equals CVTF minus A over VF. Let's solve for TF, because that's what we're looking for, right? So TF is going to be, well, let's see. We can have, uh, we're going to put this one on this side. So we're going to have CV T initial minus, uh, I think I can pull out the, the A over CV. Oh, actually, yeah, I can pull out A over CV. A over C. Oh, sorry. T initial minus A over CV of 1 over V1, or V, in, uh, v initial minus 1 over V final. Okay. So, if V final is greater than V1, right? So now this is bigger, so this is a smaller number, right? So if this is a smaller number than this, this term will be positive. We have our minus sign here. So TF 
is less than Ti. All right, we got cooling, right? So we see that for free expansion, we get cooling upon, uh, we get cooling upon free expansion for a van der Waals gas. Ah, so maybe this is going to give us cooling when we did our throttling as well. So let's pause here, go to 11.3, where we're going to do uh, throttling now for the van der Waals gas.